Well, hi there, it's Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about this interesting concept called immutable storage. If this video is interesting to you, if you find value, please go ahead and smash the like button. I really appreciate that. Subscribe for future videos. So we're talking about immutable storage. Immutable storage means that storage that cannot be modified. Now, there are a couple of different scenarios that you might want to use immutable storage. One is you may just have a company or security policy that says once we get this audit log into the storage account, we want to prevent anyone for any reason from being able to delete that log or modify that log. Obviously, if a hacker was to get into your system and then go back and delete the log files, then they would erase all trace of their being there. So you might want to use immutable storage for something where it's an audit purpose and you want to go back and see what happened. Another purpose might be for lawsuit or for some legal reason where you're told to hold on to these things for this period of time. We are still in this process of discovery. And so by law, you have been asked to do something. And so you can put basically a lock on a set of files and a storage account that uh, is for legal reasons is immutable. Okay. Let me show you how to do this. So we're in a storage account. And we are into the containers in this particular case. And I've got a private blob container. This is a general purpose V2 storage account. Now, for, for now, I don't have any files in this container. On the left, we'll see a menu says access policy. This is the same location that we used to create stored access policies that we can then generate shared access signatures based off of these policies. We talked about this in a previous video. For now, we're talking about the concept of immutable blob storage. So you'll see that right now we don't have any immutable blob policies. So I'm going to say add policy. We do get this pop up and it gives us the two options. One is called time based retention. So you can basically just say, I want to retain access to anything that's in this storage account for 30 days. And so for that 30 day period that the files that are there are going to be locked. And then any new files that are, that are added will be locked for 30 days. But in, t in terms of the 30 days being up is when you can then um, delete it, modify it, etc. So this is a time based retention. When you do create this time-based retention, it goes into what's called an unlocked state. And so you can test it out. You can uh, still change your mind and then delete the lock. Once you lock this immutable blob storage, then of course you would not be able to, you're going to be locked into this. Okay. For security reasons, of course, this day period has a minimum of one day and can be up to, I believe it's 146,000 days is the longest. For your information, that is 400 years. So be very careful about setting 400 year uh, immutable policy because trying to get out of that would be difficult. So we can set this to one day, say OK, and we should find ourselves with a time based retention policy that re that means that any files in this account are going to be, you know, immune from changes for that one day. Now I can say lock policy and that's when the policy is locked in place. Let's delete this. Now, the other one is the legal policy. Now that is more, this is tag based. So I can say, uh, I want to, I want to create a policy that puts a legal hold on files as long as there's a tag. So I'm going to say case number is the tag. And so now it's an indefinite lock on any files that are tagged with that tag. Now, this is much easier to get out of because once you've removed the tag from the file, then you can delete the, the thing that all this is called legal hold, but it doesn't necessarily always have to do with the law. It's just that idea of let's just by law tag these files and then no one can change them. Uh, once you get, once you remove the tag, then you can change the files. Anyways, that's the concept of immutable storage in an Azure blob storage account. 
I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that was a little bit helpful for you. Please, again, hit that thumbs up button to say that you like the video. Hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. This has been Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. Now, I do have some courses on Azure certifications primarily. In this case, it might be something like the Azure Administration course, which is AZ-104 certification. So check out the links to my courses in the description below. I appreciate you being here. I hope you have an amazing day.